Okay, so now we will go through the process of constructing our estimators for B0 and B1. Okay, so again, remember, right, our goal is to get this linear equation. All right, yi equals B0 plus B1 plus uh, xi. Now, they are you know, we know that the line exists and we want the line. So when then one of the questions could be then what is the criteria that we should have right, in constructing this line? Right? So let's say I draw this line arbitrary. I still don't know what the line is yet, but I want a line. Right? Here's my line. There is and this is my y hat, y hat i. Well, one thing I could look at is, well, I want a line that minimizes the distance from every observation that I have. Now, remember, this is my sample, okay? And I want to be efficient. So I want to use every observation uh, that I, you know, the, that I have. So I'm going to take uh, every observation, which is my yi, that is my observed, right? In the, and this is my in, in the sample, okay? And I'm gonna subtract it from this y hat, my uh, prediction, right? Right, and that is going to be. I'm going to call that EI. Okay, just a placeholder. Okay, I'm going to call that this EI. We're going to call it the residual. Okay, and so how about that as my criteria? Right, so I'm going to make a line such that the residuals from every single observation is minimized. Okay, so again, here we have our EI equals y i minus y hat i, but remember y hat i is simply right, b0 plus b1 x i, okay? okay? Now, if I simply just add up, so if I simply add up all the all the deviations, right, all the EIs here, okay, sum of EI is going to equal zero because the points on the bottom will be negative, the points above it will be positive, and they'll all actually cancel out. So instead, right, I'm gonna look at EI squared, right, which is right, YI minus Y hat I all squared. Okay? And so my goal then, right, so then here we go, we have the, from this, right, uh, I want to sum it up, and I get to my least square criteria, where we want to sum up all the EI, all the EI squares, summation of the EI squares, okay, and want to minimize it, and want to minimize it by choosing, by choosing B0 and B1, all right? So, so the, the goal is to find B0 and B1 such that, such that uh, summation of EI square is minimized. Right. Uh, let me just give you another illustration here. I have this line that looks pretty good. Suppose I draw a different line here with a different color. I draw a different line here. Okay, look at the deviation of every observation from this line. Right. And you can see that the deviation from, uh, you know, from this line is much, much uh, larger, right? If I squared all of it, square all the deviation, right? I'm gonna get a much larger number. So that's our criteria. Right, and we're going to use this criteria to construct a formula for B0 and B1. Okay, so moving forward, uh, so you know, we would now the next step here requires calculus. Okay, so obviously that's not a prerequisite for this class, uh, but this is something that uh, would be uh, uh, interesting to do uh, for those of you, you know, interested in moving on to higher level statistics courses. Okay, so. Da, 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 we will say, you know, some math happens. All right, some math happens, and we get the final result, which is B0 equals Y bar minus B1 X bar. And B1 will equal summation XI minus X bar times YI minus Y bar, all over summation XI minus X bar squared. Right? And these are what we call, call the least square estimates, right? uh, or the least square estimators for beta 0 and beta 1. These are the least square 
Okay, and now we know why we call them the square. It's because we're minimizing the square of the residual. Okay, these are the least square estimators for beta zero and beta one. Okay, and by the way, they are also happen to be unbiased estimators. That means expected value of B0 equals beta 0 and expected value of B1 equals beta 1. Okay, so they are unbiased. And now we have our estimator.